Hello everyone. In today's video, I will explain some basic and important settings of PlanSwift. PlanSwift is a simple software, but still sometimes people get confused. They're stuck if they need to modify something, if they need to change something. And they don't really know whom to ask or where and what to search on the internet because there are not many resources available. Although I have made some videos, but still. So in today's short video, I will try to explain some basic settings. It can save your time. So let's see one by one in. So I will explain the setting tab and some important things that you may need to know. So the first one is data storage. So in data storage, you will see by default local. So whenever we create a project by default, it goes to local. Uh, you may never notice, but it's here. Whenever you click here, new software show you local, you do not have any other location. It goes to C file and it's not suggested to have it. I have explained multiple times in different videos. So it's recommended to create a new location. You can give a name, whatever you like. You can select the specific location and that's how it works. So if you create a new location, next time you can store your project there. So this is the place where you can create a new location. The second is general. Here uh, you see the first two options are unchecked and the first option is automatically open the last job when PlanSwift opens. You have seen it's unchecked and the reason is I don't want PlanSwift to open my previous project. First reason is PlanSwift takes time whenever it open and the previous project is start loading. Maybe I don't even want to work on that. And in some certain scenarios, the previous project is scripted. Now PlanSwift is not able to open because previous project is scripted. It is not allowing me to open or create the new project as well. So there are some, this is just an example. So I prefer to just keep it unchecked. And then when PlanSwift open within a second, I can open a project based on my preference. That's the thing. Uh, then there is one option. If you see here, third one, I keep it check automatically jump to the last view. So it's it's very, it's a small thing, but it's very useful. By default, it's remain unchecked, so you will not find it. So see, it's helpful when you have, uh, let's say you need to compare or you are checking something in specific zone, ground floor and first floor, and you're paying attention to this area. Then you jump to other page, and now you're looking at this, uh, specific zone now you need to go back so just because we have enabled the settings so it will remain there it will not zoom out it should remain to the same specific view even when we jump or we come back after uh, you know maybe tomorrow or later after a few hours it will remain there and keep the focus wherever you left the uh, the view so I will just discuss the settings that I find it important for you to know at this stage. Measurement type, there are two options. So if you're working in a region where you follow feet and inches, you might want to choose English. And if you prefer meter and centimeter, then metric is the option. Currency option is available. Unfortunately, there are not many options available. Like if you're in Middle East and you prefer to use Durham, you don't have it or real, it's not available. There are only few like Euro, dollar and pound and you can choose only from this option. Uh, in if you click on a company, you will find your license detail. Then keyboard hard keys here you can see, as I mentioned, they're not PlanSwift is simple software, so you will not find a lot of short keys like AutoCAD, hundred and thousands of one. There are only few, and you can see uh, the basic shortcuts. The beauty is if you like to change the shortcut, it's possible. Although I don't recommend, but it's possible. Let's say magnify. You don't want to use by M. You might want to use it by H. So it's possible. When you modify, it will work. Uh, just one important thing. There are some settings that do not apply straight away. And uh, if you notice that I change the setting, but it's not working. So just try close the plan shift and open. Some settings require plan shift to restart. Not a system restart, but close plans and open it again. So, you know, just for you to know. Interface, uh, it's about appearance. Uh, in color scheme, we don't really have many options. There are three options only. If you get bored, you can just change the appearance of PlanSwift. Another important setting here, show auto count. By default, PlanSwift 
never show auto count tool. If you see here, there's only area linear count. I'm sure you have seen in other video explained auto count is very powerful tool. It can search the symbol automatically and show you the result. So just because I turn on this setting, now you can see auto count option is available here and I can use this option. If you never use this option, just search our video on my YouTube channel or maybe just search auto count by Sadi Chohan. You will find some videos how to use this feature. It's very uh, user friendly and uh, handy as well. And here we have option enable extended DPI range. So by default, it's remain unchecked. But if you check plans, it will allow you to convert your heavy PDF file into picture format with the high DPI range. What it really means whenever you convert, sorry, upload the PDF file, plan shift show you a range. DPI range is 50 to 300 only. But just because you have applied the setting, so even if you try 350 or 400, software will not stop stop you. So this option might help you to convert into high DPI range. Uh, then zoom, these are the basic settings. Annotation. So see, if I want to see, let's say this is the drawing, we can quickly get the area maybe. And here, plans have show us area label in a in this size, in this color, in this font style, and the legend appear in this way. What if you want to change the label size, label color, or maybe the legend size, etc.? So it's possible in a setting. If you click here, default label setting. So software show you that by default it you know apply the yellow color font size by default is one. This is I have changed it previously to 0 0.5 because I know I always work in meter. But if you work in millimeter and centimeter, so 0 0.5 might not help. You may need to use 500 or something. So similarly, you can apply this setting and then from here onward, it will not apply to the previous one, but from here onward, it will apply to all the upcoming one. Let me just show you the examples. So let's say I want one and color should be maybe green. Okay, so you see the size is increased. Press OK. Now it will not affect on the previous one, but let's just add another show label and you can see. So that's how it works. So you can define one specific setting for label. Same goes for default note, default dimension. See, um, right now if I use the dimension, the size of the dimension may be smaller to you and you want to increase the size or decrease so you can change the setting from here similarly for legend for arrow and other option this option here auto label area some people like to have it because they don't want to apply one by one how it really work if you notice after completing the area i was the one who click here but just because now i use this setting you will see I will add an area. Sorry, I by mistake clicked. Even I haven't completed the area, still label is already there. So this is how the option help that while you are highlighting, the label will automatically appear. So if you want to show legend by default, uh, label by default, you can turn on the setting. Graphic. So this is about CAD drawing here. Show CAD drawing with black background. By default, it show you it's it's unchecked. Even all of them are unchecked. So you will see your CAD drawing in this way with the white background that give you the vibe of a PDF. <laughs> so if you want to see it in a black background, you can click here setting and say show CAD drawing with black background. Here you have it. And then if you want to see automatically optimize, so you can turn on this setting just for. Uh, faster navigation it's recommended if you want to convert the, the CAD file into black and white so you can see here so this is about CAD then it's snapping how snapping work once again this is one of the option that by default it it is not there you have to enable you have to check so if I need to take a dimension you see it's a CAD drawing but still I'm not able to find the snap although I can turn on from here you see now snapping is there but uh, 
if you just turn on this option uh, from the setting then it will automatically apply on all the drawing and you don't really need to do it ortho is for the straight line it's similar to autocad so this is about snapping there is another option notification notification about deleting the item so software will give you the warning if you delete the item and it will confirm twice if you want to have it just keep it checked or just apply the same settings as i have it if you're using or which is recommended as well to use a license version so keep it here notify me for all the updates so whenever the update come software will notify you that new updated version is here would you like to install i don't prefer to have it to notify me for all the updates only i prefer to have it recommended one because sometimes it just update the minor settings and still it recommend me to install and uh, those users who are working in a company they need IT permission so they don't like to receive the updates then uh, advanced see by default plan shift show you only one interface so if you like to open another project plan shift will close the previous project so at a time it will show you only one project but what if you like to have two projects at the same time for some certain reason you want to keep two windows so by default software will never allow you but in setting there's one option see right now it's one but if you change into two so if you change into two and then you go to the desktop find the plan shift icon and open it so plan shift will keep the previous project and then it will open another window where you can open another project uh, it's recommended to have a good system then only to open two windows because if you to open two windows at same time your system will get slow a bit so use this option carefully so this is all the basic setting just now I remember another important thing that most of the time people ask me on the LinkedIn so if you see here I want to highlight the area so I'm highlighting point by point there is another option here called record mode point to point if I click here turn into box so now I can highlight as a box shape let's say this is the one I can highlight as a box shape so but imagine if later on some shape is not box then then what so you can click here again record mode it will turn into point to point and then you can click here as you like with your uh, wish you can just click so these were of course there are so many small things that you can learn about plan swift although it's a simple software but i just try to cover some basic settings that can be beneficial for you so i hope you enjoy and find it useful if you really like the video or if you have some suggestions like what exactly you like to learn or if you have some doubt about plans so drop a comment so i'll try to make more videos about those topics so that's it from my side today see you in the next video